It's DJ Hunt's M4 more thrilling than skydiving? Professional skydiver Travis Finagi is about to find out. We're going to put his heart and these parts to the ultimate test. Hell yeah! Building and racing cars gives me a rush unlike anything else. <laughs> Tuning my ride, making it roar to life, and unleashing it on the track until everything melts away and all I feel is the road beneath my tires and the pulse of my heartbeat. And I know a guy who loves to get a blood that bup. Sorry. Marker. And I know a guy who loves to get the blood pumping. And today, he's going head to head with gravity. This is TJ Hunt in his heart pounding M4. This is between two rides. <laughs> Fast car, good brakes. Wasn't sure, now we know. <laughs> I'm TJ Hunt. I'm from San Diego, California. I build cars on the internet and race cars and just try to have as much fun as physically possible. Ricky, is this illegal or what? This is I started making videos when I was like 11 years old. And as I got older and I mashed two of my hobbies together, which was cars and making videos, to which then amassed to a large following of people who just liked seeing me screw around with my car and do things just completely the wrong way. My eye! TJ's a big reason why I got into YouTube. He gave me a lot of guidance and help when I was first starting out. But there's a lot of things that like I reach out to Amelia about and vice versa. So like we have a special connection because of how far we go back. Uh, I don't know if you're looking by you. I heard you were talking. <laughs> you think you're going to take this record? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Today we have a BMW. 2022 BMW M4 xDrive Comp. British racing green, khaki orange interior. Man, this compared to a stock base model 4 series is a nine day difference. I hope so, given the price difference. <laughs> front to back, we have an Adro front arrow kit. The G80 community argues a lot about the big catfish style grill. For this, the front bumper was like, you gotta go. We're on KW, coilovers. Need to lower the car a little bit, but also didn't want to improve our handling. We have some HRE wheels that are flow forms. And then we have a Valtronic cat batch exhaust, titanium. That's why it sounds so good. Yeah, quiet car equals sad TJ. So the exhaust is probably the favorite mod so far. That or the Eventuri Intakes engine cover. And then we have the Keys strut brace. You can buy a lot of these parts off eBay Motors. I and mean, with the eBay Guarantee Fit, you can make sure that you'll find the right part to fit your car the very first time. It's like insurance for the car parts you want to buy. Exactly. It makes it easy. When you say khaki orange interior, I want to see it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite things about the car. Fits really well with this green. It, it complements it nicely. It screams at you, and I love it. Nice bucket competition seats. And then you also have all the carbon dress up bits on the inside. Makes for a nice interior. This is such like a clean classic build that wouldn't assume so much had been yep. aftermarket on yep. this. It makes me feel like an adult. We've been talking enough about this car. As you can see right behind me is a stock base model 4 series Yuck. off the assembly line. They share similar DNA, but are worlds apart in power and speed. I think we know what's going to happen if we line them up, but I kind of just want to see the gap your modded car is going to make compared to this. I have a good suspicion of how it's going to look, but let's go test it. Let's do it. This car. 
Oh man. Race over. <laughs> well, it tried. She never stood a chance. She tried real hard. You and I both knew that was gonna happen, but I have something else up my sleeve. Okay, I'm listening. I brought my friend, Travis Tanagi, who's a professional skydiver. Hey, TJ. What's up, brother? He's done crazy movies from Iron Man, Triple X, the over 15,000 jumps. Last week, we monitored your heart rate, Travis, jumping out of a plane. And what did you sit at roughly? Oh, roughly 90. And is that about normal when you jump out of planes? Yeah, I would say so, just for a kind of chill skydive. <laughs> chill skydive. Chill skydive. 90 BPM is the average resting heart rate for a guy, so it clearly takes something intense to get Travis's heart pumping. So we're gonna find out if we can get his heart rate beating faster in a race through downtown LA riding shotgun in TJ's M4. When I'm in the passenger seat of a car, I hate it. It's like one of the worst feelings ever. So I have a good feeling that I'm gonna make this stuntman's heart rate skyrocket. I think we can make it happen. You ready? I'm ready. You got your diapers? No, 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 the seats are brand new. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> TJ's ride is pretty mean, but he's really got to step it up to top that. TJ, you could drive. Nice. That was sick. Oh my God. <laughs> What's that heart rate at? We got to know after all it. that. Dogs, let me see what it. Let it. me see what it. it. About 112. Oh, so. my God. Well, it's for the win. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll yeah, take that, nice. take that home. I say it usually takes quite a bit to get adrenaline going for me now. You definitely got me. I like how filled my inner child doing that. Thank you, Travis, for coming out. TJ, thank you for coming out. Thank you for having me. Today's mission was a success. <laughs> if you've got a car that's ready to fly or another mod in mind, find the parts to fit your ride on eBay Motors. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell icon to stay tuned for the next episode. Let's ride. Deegan's high-powered Can-Am X3 escape a swarm of dive-bombing drones flown by two-time world champion Jet FTV. This feels like a zombie apocalypse, but with drones. We're putting these parts to the ultimate test. Whoa.